What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Nightmares from the Deep 2, The Siren's Call. We are up to episode 11. In the last episode, we we snuck into Murray's... I think this is his base. I think this is the base of the lighthouse, but it's also like his hideout. So we snuck into his hideout by first poisoning the guard. Well, I poison... I suppose we we gave him a sleeping draft in his cafe juice uh, which put him to sleep which allowed us to steal his uh, uniform wait yeah we stole his uniform old mate uh, put it on and then we use we so we snuck in to kind of infiltrate the base uh, and we found that Calliope was being held in I, I think it's Murray's chambers in like this big uh, tank bed thing, which looked pretty cool, but also I th like there's a lot of custom-made furniture I think uh, with Murray, so he's definitely got a lot of money, or maybe he's very skilled with his crafting abilities. Who knows? He might be a woodworker. Um, but yes, yeah, so we we snuck in there and uh, we. Managed to get some sticky resin and this brass idol, uh, and we locked him. Uh, that's right, we locked him away. Uh, I forgot. I forgot old mate's name. <laughs> What's his name again? Uh, old mate that we were with. He locked uh, locked the door, and so I think now, basically, we might be towards the end of this now. I think we have to free Calliope. And stop the Kraken, I think is what, what we got next to do. Now, I wonder what we're going to do when it comes to uh, Murray himself. Like, if we're gonna we're gonna fight him, or what's what's gonna happen? Will he just lose his powers? Like, it's gonna be interesting. So, we got all that ahead of us. Uh, we also discovered a couple of like octopus uh, and parrots and stuff. So, I think. We we will be able to gather more of those this episode. I wanna I, I wanna do a completionist round of this. So if um if we come towards the end of this and there's still a little bit more time on an episode or something, I think I might spend that time trying to find all of the little extra stuff. But if not, uh, maybe actually you know what I will record it I was thinking it might be boring for you guys to watch um, but I might record it because I know some people who watch this actually use it for like a walkthrough um, which if you if you are one of those people that have been like uh, watching this series and uh, using it as a walkthrough to kind of if you get stuck on a, a puzzle or something and you just kind of want to figure it out uh, by watching my series uh, drop a comment or or a like or that, that sort of stuff I'll be I'll be curious to know how many people are using this series for that um, but yeah, I think wait, let's just let's just get on to what we were doing last time. So we got the brass idol. Brass idol. It's been a it's been a couple of it's been a few like a, a week, couple of weeks since I played this. So I gotta remember where things are. But I'm pretty sure. Actually, let's have a look. We got our objectives. Let's use this. Fix the clock. 12 fish tokens, so we're going to get some more of them. Uh, find a way to stop the Kraken. Well, we got the... We got the... The Harpoon. Patch... Patch the stained glass window. Oh, okay. That was the... Is that here? No. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's see if we've missed anything in here. Well, so that's pretty cool. It's like a ship with a, a figurehead of a uh, what do you call it? A, 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 a seahorse! <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good episode. I'm going to I'm gonna mess up these puzzles. Um, Alright, let's just, let's just go out here. We might as well. What do we got? Oh. Oh, that's the, the piece that we need for that puzzle. Alright. Well... The Praetorians are preparing for the incoming assault. 
Oh yeah, that was the other thing we learned that the Praetorians were Murray's uh, pillager crew. That was the name of them. The Kraken is circling the waters. Ah, is that what is that it there? King's mouth. Who would believe this town concealed such grim secrets? Got any hidden stuff? All right. Well, let's let's do that puzzle. Oh, we got something in here. A uh, barrel with a tap. That's that. Uh, meat tenderizer. Rolling pin. Uh, where did I see that? Red right that. Flower. Banana. Or banana, as it is said in Australian. Pepper. Pepper. Now, is it capsicum peppers or is it peppercorns peppers? So, apple. Oh, wait, we just. Chop. Half a pineapple. Salami. Um. Oh, peppers. Meat and egg. Egg. Egg? No, that's a spoon. Oh, right there. <laughs> Massive egg. Alright, so we got some meat. So... Oh, that's interesting. Well, let's put the idol on here. Shall we? We got another coin. Perfect. Uh, and then... We got the chest panel, which we go back that way, but... Let's go down here. So we got four more coins. With money slick with innocent blood, the town of Kingsmouth was saved by the rule of Murray and his Praetorians. However, Praetorians. the pact with Davy Jones had its price. Residents who returned to the old ways stopped aging and gradually began to resemble fish with the greatest criminals. Oh, okay, so they just became immortal effects. almost? That's kind of cool. All right, let me grab my bottle of water. Ah, okay. So... So they kind of kind of became semi-immortal. What do you call it when you stop aging, but you can still die? It's like kind of a form of immortality, but... Is it... I think you're in, invulnerable? No, invulnerable means... You don't get sick. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what that word is. Okay, so we got the meat, we got sticky resin. Let's have a look in here. Pop that there. Open secret. The townspeople think that the newspaper and pawn shop closed down because their owners weren't uh, went missing. But in reality, we finished off those rebels at mayor's request. They were planning to dispose Murray, to dispose Murray and elect their own mayor. Idiot dreamers. I'm just sad that my former friend and Praetorian, no less, had had his ears filled with uh, siren lies. He deserted us for her. He said his 
Uh, conscience was getting the better of him. TK. He fell for the beautiful mermaid. Is that it? We got another one? No, it's the same one. Ah, uh, the stained glass window. Well, we have sticky resin, so let's use this. Man, look at us go. Now, I can't remember where we put this. Uh, wait, what the heck? The door's closed. Hiya. You, you found me. I hope my lover is all right too. You're saying that Murray is going to order an attack on another ship? Then there is no time to. Going to? You already asked. I had to part with my powers to create the golden octopus. Any residual power I had was locked in the hidden chest. If you can open that chest and bring me its contents, I can control the Kraken again. It will also mean that the pact between Murray and Davy Jones is broken. And the mayor will have to suffer the consequences. And I, I will return to the sea at last. Find the rest of the golden fish tokens and bring me the chest's contents. Time is nearly up. Well, I already figured that part out. Hello, octopus. Oh, we got all of them. Oh yeah. Okay, anything? Oh, I will take. I'll take a pokey thing. Uh, in the end, sometimes I wonder what will happen to me if the pact with Davy Jones is broke, ever broken. <laughs> I kind of became, uh, do me again. But on, but the only way that could happen is if Calliope's powers are restored by giving her contents of the hidden chest. And then letting her dismantle the golden octopus. I actually don't know if this is Murray's. I assume it is. Then Calliope would be free to return to the sea that rhymes. And I would have to pay my, for my years of good fortune. With an even number of years in hell. Damn, that's quite a bargain. That is, that is not worth it. I'd rather be an immortal shark than a weak human tormented in eternal fires. Stripped of power, wealth, servants. I should take countermeasures. I'd better return to the caves below the lighthouse and study the old legends for a way to defeat Davy. Ooh, where there. A will. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm definitely willing. Oh. Okay, so he's gonna aid in in us defeating Davy Jones, which I assume will be the next game. Considering the next game is called Davy Jones. Okay. We're leading up to a major What is this? Alright, so we need that missing piece. What is this? That's the octopus. Fire poker. Surely I could just break the glass and then pull it out. The, cha <laughs> the chains are only around the glass. Alright, fine, we'll do it properly. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Gong. And there's the piece. What do we got? Bam. The Kraken is waiting for my... Ah, okay, so he has to actually tell it to... To do its thing.
a few central pieces are missing. Maybe I can find them. Right. We may very well be in here. Yes, yes they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Now, I want to see what is... The stained glass thing is. I assume we're going to get another coin from this. Boom. 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 Oh! I accidentally clicked. Boom. Boom. Bing! Oh! Messed it up. Bang! Ada! Uh. Oh. oh, wait, I could just do that? Oh, that's. <laughs> I wish I knew that earlier. Bam! Reveal your secret. Well, I happen to have this thingy. That won't work. What? Oh, we got a can of tuna. Get it? Because it's got fish. Well, alright. Another coin. Soon, the fish curse spread to even the purest of townspeople. They tried to resist Murray's rule, but the movement had no chance. Time. Stopped for King's Mouth. The ageless Whoa. townspeople were living in fear, isolated from the rest of the Caribbean because of their fish like fish. That asshole we drugged. Time stopped for King's Mouth, and everyone affected by the curse. Interesting. Fire poker. Oh. Oh, wait, that's not the right way. We want to go this way. Also, how many other things do we do we have? Achievements. We got four more. Oh, we got all of the seahorses. Four more, and then. Oh, we might actually be able to just like get them through. Oops, like. As we go. That would be good. Oh, hello. Speaking of which. Okay. Man. I, I knew that was going to happen. So it appears that it triggers kind of near the beginning of the scene. So if I just like make sure I'm scanning around the room as soon as I enter it I should find it at least that's my running theory all right let's place this in here restore the tile pattern is it what us uh, we swap them yeah There's no way it's that easy. Okay, it's not. We're good. Ah, that was pretty cool. Oh, these ones, uh, we pick them up. This one has to go over here. This one has to go over here. 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 Uh, here. Here. 
Easy. Man, this is so cool. Oh. Oh wait, we have to we have to line up the outside to the inside. I see. Oh. Um this way. Oh, okay, that's a pearl. Okay. Right, that's right. We needed a the pearl for the other one as well. Hello, birdie. Ooh, one more. One more. Scanning the room. Making sure we don't miss it. Okay, so we need to get... Uh, let's check the diary. What other things do we have to do? We've got... Store the powers. Fix the clock. Okay, so we need to find the hands to the clock. Oh, is that what this is? No. Wait, where was, where was the clock? Oh wait, we can we can use the map, can't we? The foyer, the gong. Wait, there's still something up here. something up here. Maybe it will unlock later. Alright. Something else. Now we use it. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. stuff we got. For yay. This is a clock. Oh. The hands of the clock we must find. Powder compact. That's like a makeup thing, right? For that? Yeah. Uh, clock hand. One, two... Alarm clock three uh, and four. Oh no, it's a, th a thermos. Four. Palm tree. Palm tree. Crayons. Shovel. There. Yeah. Uh, Sphinx. Up here. A wallet. Uh, a letter. We have to reassemble. Where is the stamp? Oh, do we need... Do we need to seal it? Oh, here we go. Stamp. Letter, vinyl, and a cap. I will take those, thank you very much. Okie dokie. Oh, find the missing face first. I will tell you, this, this addition of being able to move the map is so handy. Oh, no, bring that back. Alright, 
Let's give him another coin. Only like so. Years, one of the Praetorians felt the pangs of his conscience over Murray's murderous ways and got himself assigned to guard the siren. Listening to her sad songs, longing for the sea, he gradually fell in love with the imprisoned Calliope. This fishman became a sympathizer of what was left of the resistance movement and began to think about releasing the siren from her anguish. Hmm, now would you have released her? I would have. Or would you go for being a badass fish man? Leave a comment down below, I'm curious to know. And, and if you if you go for either one, I mean, freeing, freeing Calliope is the good thing to do, right? But if you have, if you have justification for why you want to remain a fish man, I'd be curious to know what your justification is. Alright, so we need to get two more coins, so they're probably going to be hidden in just like a a more straightforward just a puzzle, I think. Kind of like how that the stained glass one was. But let's have a look. Go to the gong. Aha! Oh! The Siren's Call. Hey! That's the name of the game! To open the chest, one needs to gather all twelve fish tokens and the seal locked safely in the heart of the gong. Although some tokens were stolen from me, there's no way, there's no way one person could collect them all. I'm not going to help anyone retrieve the the conch, the conch that empowered the siren to command every sea creature. But in case I ever forget, I've written down, <laughs> I've written down this hour. <coughs> 10, 17, 36. <laughs> this is why you never write down your passwords, okay? Just, if you forget it, reset it. Alright, so I think we're going to get another coin from this. Alright, and then, ooh. There should be a golden fish inside, but I can't reach it. Try to shoot it down. We need all of those tokens to free Calliope. Alright, bet. Oh, sniper. Well, I guess we're not harpooning the, the thing. We're going to, I assume, Calliope's going to stop it then. Say less. Alright, well let's... Actually, how did we get down here in the first place? I can't remember. I assume we climbed down. Yeah, we climbed down. And to get in here, we came from the bridge. The bridge. And here we go. Alright, place that there. Give all the clocks their hands. And then we set it to 10. Which I'm assuming is this. 10. Alright, and then Oh wait, is it moving this at this? Yeah, 10. Oh, this would be 37. Seven and 16. Oh, easy. I will take both of those. And 
do. In time, Calliope started to trust her strange companion. <laughs> and fell in Why did he hesitate when he said that? She told the fishman about a chest where Murray hid a deposit, which would restore her unearthly powers over the Kraken, about twelve golden fish tokens, and about the pact with Davy Joan, which has to be broken once and for all to save her and townspeople from the fish curse. The trouble was that the corrupted mayor will never give up his riches and power the easy way. Hmm. Well, we've reached the last gold coin, and then we're going to take on the Kraken. Now, the question is, do I end the episode here, or do I continue? Because I believe we still have a bonus story to do. So what I'm going to do, we've made a lot of progress, and I hate to do it, but I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger. We're going to end episode here with uh, the next episode where we conclude this story, I think. Who knows? There might be more to the story, so uh, we shall find out. Um, but yeah, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series and you're keen to not only see the next episode, but also see the next game as well, the next series, uh, leave a like and all this sort of stuff uh, that helps out these videos, makes them uh, kind of raise to the top... Uh, so that more people can see these videos and stuff like that. So all kinds of engagement definitely helps out this video. So if you like this series, uh, please do uh, like and comment. Uh, that will help out this uh, a lot. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna end it here because I don't want to. I don't want to make the episode too long. And we basically know what's gonna happen next. We're going to enter the the final part of the story. And I'm curious to see how this is going to end. I think we, we think we know how it's going to end, but it, we're going to have to deal with Murray. So that might lead to some extra conflict. Um, so we'll find out what happens in the next episode. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next episode.